Hello lovely, thank you so so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to have you here. If you haven't met me before then hello my name is Laura. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me today. I am really excited about today's video. It's one that I've been planning for a little while and I actually could probably do two, three, four, five of these videos whilst here at the caravan. And what I'm going to be doing is a get ready with me with a difference. So I'm going to be doing a looks on a budget. So it's a kind of get ready with me, um, doing the steps that I would do if I was going out for a nice evening out um, for dinner, um, to a cocktail bar something like that not that i ever really go out of the house but this is what i would do if i was having an evening or a day out where i wanted to be super glam and make that little bit more of an effort the only difference being everything is going to be affordable and budget friendly from the prep beforehand to the makeup so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching then please do stick around and watch the video to the end leave me a comment if you want to see more of these kind of videos or you have some more ideas of videos you'd like to see from me then please do leave those in the comment section subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would love to have you here and spend some more time with me in the future and without further ado let's get on with the video Okay, so let's run through some of the things that I have done before we get on to the makeup. So I would always have a nice hot soak or a lovely long shower or something before I get ready for a nice evening out or a glam occasion. I've had a cool shower today because it has been ridiculously hot here um so much so that you know it's too hot for ray to go out for a walk or anything like that the pavements are just too hot so had a lovely cool shower washed my hair um i slept with a hair mask and rosemary oil combination last night so i've just rinsed that out and shampooed and conditioned my hair um then once I was out of the shower, I did my skincare. I took the time to do my skincare and really let it soak in in between each steps. But before I actually started my skincare, I lay on the bed for 15, 20 minutes with these eye patches on. So these are the Primark Vitamin C Brightening and Depuffing Eye Patches. And these are £1.50 for... 15 treatments um and these were lovely these were so soothing and refreshing um and i just lay in my towel on my bed decompressed for 15 minutes watched a youtube video and let these do their thing then when i had done my skincare i used some of the be perfect hydro glow this is a facial tanning mist it smells beautiful it smells like cherry bakewells it's cherry scented but it has that like sweet cherry scent to it and i spritz this all over my chest and face and i just lay and let it dry down if i was wearing something that you could see my chest and shoulders then I would have gone in with the Be Perfect Bronze Boost Instant Matte Tan. This is a light to medium um, instant tan, um, but you can't really see anything on me other than a bit of my neck and face. So um, I didn't actually use this, but these are both very affordable. Be Perfect is quite an affordable brand. They have a lot of deals on and they're available on TikTok shop as well, and you can get some really great deals. So I use used that on my chest and face it's had it's had over an hour to sort of dry down now um for my hair i even have um hair tools that are affordable here at the caravan i picked up these l 
hair straighteners from B&M for under £10 um, because I was bringing my GHDs backwards and forwards and because of the way my hair goes with the water here I don't actually need to straighten it, it goes quite limp and lank um, so I've got my Revlon hot brush here and that usually is more than enough for me but I actually like using these for doing um, like loose waves so I just sort of curled my whole head like this um, put some hairspray through and then I brushed it out and then I've just put my front section in a heatless curling rod um, I got um, these heatless curling rods. I got the pack of three from Timu and I think they were about £3.50 for a pack of those. And these have been great here because my hair does go so limp and lank and it was, so it's also grown like a weed. It's got super long. Um, sleeping with the heatless curling rods has given it a little bit of oomph and a little bit of body and that's really all I wanted today. I just wanted a little bit of texture. So I've done that and now I am ready to start my makeup. On my lips I've got some of the e.l.f. Jelly Pop lip mask and we're going to get started on the makeup now. Now if I was actually going out out I would most likely have a nice beverage um usually um alcoholic but I don't really drink anymore these days so I have um a glass of iced blackcurrant juice so I do very occasionally have a, a drink like I love Aperol spritz if I'm somewhere that sells an Aperol spritz I'll have one my mum got me some of the fun Aldi ciders while we were here. They're like American dessert flavoured ciders. And I've had two of those while I've been here. Um, but me and alcohol don't really mix these days because of the medication and stuff that I'm on. And I'm always a bit wary of if I have an alcoholic drink, I can't take my um, aura off. So if I have a flare up or something that... I can never predict when it's going to happen. Um, I'm always a bit sort of on edge when I drink alcohol. So me and squash. Love a glass of squash. Okay, so for priming my skin, um, I've put a nice layer of hydration on my skin. Um, today I've got like an oil, a facial oil on and a lovely rich moisturiser um, but I want something, if I was going out for the evening I would want something that's got some glow to it but I also want to put down something that is going to make my makeup last throughout the evening so I'm going to be using a mixture of two primers so i'm going to go for my collection filter finish in the shade fair one this is the one that is closest to my skin tone and then i'm also going to use um some of the revolution pro blur stick around my pore areas and this will smooth everything out ready for foundation speaking of for foundation i've mentioned in previous videos that i'm not really a lover of a super full coverage foundation anymore i do occasionally want one if I was going to a wedding or something like that, then I would go for um, a full coverage, long wearing foundation. But just for a meal out or something like that, I want something that's just going to make my skin look really pretty, really healthy and glowy. And I don't have a huge amount to cover. So a, a medium coverage is more than enough for me. And one that I find extremely sophisticated for a drugstore foundation is the classic L'Oreal True Match. I think this is comparable to NARS Foundations, Luminous Silk from Armani. It's just a really gorgeous finish for a drugstore foundation. So... Obviously, the collection filter finish is a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter. So, 
we are getting looks on a budget. So I'm going to add this first of all. And I'm going to blend that in with a brush. And you can see this just has a really pretty finish to it. Okay, and then now I've blended all that in, I just want to, first of all, check everything is blended nicely. Um, I want my, obviously, my under eyes, I don't want any um, mascara transferring through the evening because that is one thing that drives me utterly insane i hate i think it makes my under eyes look really dark and tired so i'm going to be going in with my revolution lion fix under eye primer this does minimize any uh, mascara transfer so i'm going to apply some of that on my under eyes And then just where I have some enlarged pores, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Blur Stick. And this is just going to create a nice canvas for the foundation to sit on. So I'm going to go in with this. And I'm just going to press that in with my fingers. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just sit for a few minutes and let my primers set down. I want to give the primer enough time to do its thing, to settle into my skin and to set down before I go in with foundation on top. So I'm going to just go away, let it sit for a minute and then we'll do my foundation. Okay, before I go in with my foundation, I do just want to cover up a little bit of the redness that I have on my skin. It's not too bad today, but I do have this little blemish here and a few little bits just on my cheeks, but nothing major. So I'm just going to go in with a small amount of that. That is the um, NYX Corrector Stick in the shade green. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm going to just pump out some of this onto the back of my hand and apply to my skin. And I'm going to blend that in with my damp sponge. Okay, that is that blended in. And I think that is just such a beautiful finish of a foundation. Um, it is getting a bit windy. So I'm just going to clip my hair out of the way slightly. Okay, and I am just going to build that up ever so slightly just on my cheeks where I do have that little bit of redness, nothing major, just a tiny bit more on my cheeks.
Okay, and for concealer, I'm going to be taking my collection. This is the Last Imperfection Concealer, and this is a matte full coverage concealer. Now, this is definitely looks on a budget. This concealer has had a cult following for many years, and for good reason. It's such a good quality concealer, and it is so incredibly cheap. And then I'm also going to go in with a little bit of the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is like a dupe of the YSL Touche Eclat. And I just want to add a little bit of this for brightening in certain areas. And I'm going to blend all of that in with my sponge. Okay, and that is my foundation and concealer done. Okay, so now for cream cheap products. One of my absolute favourite cream bronzers that I have here that is such a luxe formula for a drugstore product is the Revolution Pro. This is the Glow Edit Cream Bronzer. And this formula reminds me a lot of my Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. It's a gel formula that blends so beautifully onto the skin and it just leaves a lovely expensive looking glow to the skin so i'm going to use this little contour brush from primark and i'm going to just add some warmth and definition to my cheeks Okay, and because this is more of a glam look, I am going to add a little bit of extra sculpt to the cheek with the Primark My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation and Contour Stick. And I have mine in the shade Chai. And I'm just going to use a very small amount of this for some extra sculpt. And I'm focusing on keeping this towards the back of my cheek and lifting that cheekbone. Okay, so that is that done. And now I'm going to go in with cream blush and a cream blush highlighter hybrid so the highlighter hybrid that i'm going to be using is the instant radiant liquid blush wand from collection and this is kind of like a dupe to the charlotte tilbury um blush ones that she does and highlight ones this reminds me a lot of the shade pillow talk from charlotte tilbury um, and i am going to be going with that kind of pillow talk theme for this look so i'm going to add some of this to the high points of the cheeks this doesn't add a lot of color it's more that it's going to add glow to the cheeks and I'm just, like I say, putting that on the high points and then I'm going to blend it in with this brush that I use for both um, cream bronzing and cream blush. It's such a great shape for cream products and this is from an old BH Cosmetics set. So you can see it does add a slight bit of colour but it's definitely more glow than anything. OK, 
okay and then for cream blush i'm going to be using the aldi dupe of the rare beauty liquid blushes these are the sweet blushes and this one is in the shade orchid pink and it's like a cool toned berry pink and i'm just going to add a little bit of that to my cheeks and blend with the same brush so that it keeps that glow Okay, and that is all my cream and liquid products. Now, before I set my skin with powder, I'm just going to spritz my face with a setting mist. Um, when I'm going out, I do like using a mist that has um, a little bit of a shimmer or a radiance to it. So I'm going to be going in with the Revolution Fix and Glow. This is a dupe of the iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray. Uh, this one is like the pink one. They do a gold one as well. Um, so I'm just going to shake this up and then spritz my skin. And then I'm going to go and let that dry down and then we'll set everything with powders. Okay, and I don't know about you, but when I am getting ready to go out, I am an absolute nightmare. I'm always in such a tizzy that I make a huge mess. So I am tidying as I go this time. So for powders, I'm going to be going in with two. I'm going to be using the W7 Pink Blur Loose Powder. This is a beautiful pink blurring powder. Very, very reminiscent of the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake. And then I'm going to be going in certain strategic areas with my e.l.f. Camo CC Powder Foundation. This one reminds me a lot of the Fenty Powder Foundation. Unfortunately, I did get mine in a too light shade so I can only use it in certain areas so mainly I'm going to be using the pink blur and the only problem with this is it doesn't have like um, a, a protecting like net or anything like that so it does kind of go everywhere and I'm going to be using a powder puff to set under my eyes um, I'm going to pick up the powder on the puff and then tap off the excess on the back of my hand and then just go in and start by setting under my eyes. And you can see this is such a nice blurring powder. And I think it was something like £4. It was really, W7 is um, very, very affordable. And I picked mine up in Superdrug because W7 is now available in some Superdrug stores. Okay, and then for the powder foundation, I mainly want to use that kind of on the outer perimeter of my face and to kind of clean up my contour line. And I don't really bake. Okay, and that is all of my powder setting that I want to do. Now I am going to go over things with some powder cheek products. Okay, so for my bronzer contour, bronzer situation, I'm going to be using the Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade One Cool. And I really love this because I love the tone of it. It has a nice sort of rosy tone to it, which is perfect for my skin tone. 
and I'm going in quite light handed. This brush, even though it's quite large, is fairly flimsy, um, but it is a very pigmented product. So if you wanted to, you could go in heavy handed and get a much stronger bronze look. And then to add a little bit more definition, I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used my powder foundation with. And I'm going to just add a little bit of extra sculpting. Okay, so that is my bronzer done. But because this is a glam kind of a going out look, if I was at home with my normal makeup collection, I would be using a shimmery bronzer. And I did buy a drugstore shimmery bronzer. This is the Revolution Glow X Rachel Leary. And this is the Golden Hour Highlighter. But she is a advocate of a shimmery bronzer so created her own with her revolution collection and this one i think you can still get on superdrug's website which is where i got my in and this is a beautiful shimmery bronze gold highlight um i have at home mac um gold deposit i think it is um and i have some very radiant bronzers at home that i like using for this kind of purpose so for this i'm going to go in with exactly the same bronzer brush that i used my matte bronzer with i'm going to be very light handed with this and just dust this on the high points And that is so pretty. I don't know how well it's going to show on camera. But that is stunning. And then just for one final bit of glow, I'm going to go in with another spritz. All three of the Revolution Fix and Glow. And now it's time to do eyes and brows. Okay, so for eyeshadow, the palette that actually inspired this whole look um not the concept i have some other palettes that i really want to do this looks on a budget idea with but my mom actually gave me this mini revolution palette a few days ago it is the revolution forever dynamic eternal palette um she's having a moment where she's not loving anything shimmery on her like more mature eyelids she prefers wearing mattes and has never used this palette and decided that she wasn't going to so she asked me if I wanted it and I don't know about you but this really gives me Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk vibes specifically these four shadows here and I think I could create something very simple but super pretty with this palette so that's what I'm going to be doing today but to add a little extra pizzazz, if I was at home and I was going full glam, um, I would often dip into my beautiful sparkly singles eyeshadow collection. And I actually picked this palette up from Makeup Revolution. I saw it release and I was picking up another couple of items from this range. Um, and it reminded me of a lot of my really special eyeshadow singles so this is the hyper real palette that they did for like a festival collection and these are like super sparkly like duochrome shades so i may throw one of these on top of the look as well so two little revolution palettes and let's see if we can get like a super looks eye look out of it so for my shadow um primer i'm going to be using the elf no budge shadow stick in the shade rose gold 
I have been obsessed with using these as eye primers while I've been here this time. Um, they are so good. Um, they just don't work very well if I go straight to my lid. I have to kind of warm them up on my finger first of all and then apply them with my finger. Uh, but they work absolutely brilliant like that. Okay, so let's do an eye look. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows once I've got all my eyeshadow done. So it's not going to be a super intricate look because the shades that I'm going to use are, like I say, to me, very reminiscent of my, Nata uh, my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk quad. And that is a very soft feminine sort of everyday but can be made to look sort of evening appropriate palette and I do think this little quad here and maybe even throwing a bit of this in I could get kind of a similar vibe so that's what I'm going for today uh, the first shade I'm going to go with is this light neutral here and I'm just going to use that to sort of set down the eye primer I don't think this is going to show up too so I'm just going over that eyeshadow stick with this light neutral shade it does have some color to it but not anything over the top and then we're going to start working on the crease now and I'm going to go in with this deeper like neutral shade and I'm just going to throw that into my crease but blow it out quite far. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same shade underneath my eye. And obviously one of the things with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette is you aren't going to get much depth out of that. Um, and it's the same with this one. This is just a very soft easy wearable look uh you know you're not expecting anything smoky or anything like that um, and that's the same vibe that i am getting with this palette okay and for the shimmer i'm gonna go with this deeper shimmer first of all and i'm just going to put that basically all over my lid and kind of up over my crease and this one definitely is giving me pillow talk vibes it's that really peachy kind of a shimmer it looks deeper in the pan than it is coming across on the eye okay so i'm just going to clean up around the edge of the shimmer with that fluffy blending brush and i don't think i'm actually gonna go in with the deeper shimmer um i quite like this one on its own But I am going to go in with this light one here. And with that light shimmer, I'm actually going to put that on my brow bone and my inner corner. And I'm just using a small flat shader brush for that. Thank you. 
and this one I think if I was to use my finger that you would get much more of like a piecey sparkle like you get in the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk palette for the topper shade In fact, let's try that. We'll try putting a little of this kind of over the front. Mm. Yeah, I do think you do get that like PC kind of a topper vibe with this one. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the look that I get with my Pillow Talk palette. So I am I do think it is definitely giving that kind of Pillow Talk energy. Um, but I do want to amp things up a little tiny bit with one of these. And I think I'm actually going to go with this orangey one here. and see what that does. It just adds a little bit more of a glow. These shadows in this Hyper Real palette are incredibly soft. And then I'm actually going to just flip back to that shade and just go back over the corner and really sort of amp that bit up. Okay, that is really, really pretty. It's actually a lot prettier in person than you're seeing it on camera. So what I might do is take a photograph after and I'll put that on so you can see the look a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to be attempting to do some false lashes. I haven't worn false lashes in a very long time, but I've got these... Um, Revlon uh, little cluster lashes that my aunt gave me. I don't even know if you can get these anymore. Um, she's had them many years and never wears false lashes, so she gave me all of her old false eyelashes. So I'm going to attempt to put those on. And I also want to do a winged liner. Um, I'm going to be using the renaissance flick liner from makeup revolution and this is in the shade brown the liquid liner i have at home is the charlotte tilbury um liquid eyeliner in the shade brown um and i think this is going to be kind of a dupe for that so what i'm going to do is go off camera i can't do liquid eyeliner on camera so i'm going to go i'm going to put this um on curl my lashes put some mascara on attempt the falsies and then i'll come back when the eyes are completely done okay so the eyes are finished um i have got two of those clusters on the outer corner of my lashes but I'm not sure if you can tell um they were so old the glue was so stuck to the plastic that when I tried to take them off they disintegrated but I did manage to save four little clusters um the glue I don't mess about with eyelash glue I always use duo the um the green duo one so I love that glue. Um, the eyeliner um, isn't as deep as my Charlotte Tilbury uh, feline flick, um, but it certainly did the job and was really easy to use. That's kind of a first impression of that because I hadn't used it before. And then for my brows, because I'm going for more of a glam look, I wanted a stronger brow. So I just used my e.l.f. 
Wow Brow in the shade uh, Neutral Brown. And I used my Makeup Revolution like micro brow pencil. This is actually in the shade light brown, which is definitely too light for me at the moment, but it gave me enough definition. So worked out perfectly fine. Now, oh, and for mascara, um, I just used the Lift and Define 5D Lash. Not really fussed about mascara when I'm putting um, some lashes on, um, but this is actually going in the bin now because it is getting very dry and clumpy. Now, for highlight, we are going in with a powder highlight. I'm going to be using the Revolution Beam Bright Highlighter in the shade Rose Luster. And the reason I'm going for this one is the formula is so sophisticated for a drugstore powder highlight. It is a beautiful, beautiful formula. I'm using this little brush from Primark. All of the brushes I have been using as well are very affordable. I have the set from BH Cosmetics and most of the other ones I've used are Primark. And you can see it can be super, super blinding, but if you sort of buff it into the skin, it just has that lovely, glorious sheen and this is like an icy pink i have another one from them that is more of a warmer toned pink And for blush, I'm sticking with the like cooler, like pinky brown tones and I'm going in with the shade Violet Love. This is the Revolution Blusher Reloaded. You know I have talked so many times about these blushes. I absolutely love them. I think they're such a sophisticated powder formula as well as the highlights in this range as well. And there we go. So that is my face done. Now, for lips, I'm sticking with the pillow talk kind of a trend. And I have three pillow talk kind of a dupes. Two of them are from Primark and one is from W7. So the one from W7 is one of the lippy chic lip pencils and lip lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Banter. And I will swatch all three of these. And as you can see, it's that pillow talk, like rosy kind of a, a brown nude. Then we've got one of the luster lipsticks from Primark. This is a matte formula. This is a luster. And this one is the shade Skin on Skin. Um, I love these little Primark lipsticks. They're like 90 pence or something like that i think the w7 ones are under two pound as well so that is skin on skin from primark and then this is the one that's supposed to be an actual dupe so this is the primark lipstick in the shade berry brown and this one is definitely more peachy than than pinky like these two are um i think for this look i'm actually going to go with this very brown one um but i do want a liner so i'm going to go for the makeup academy intense color lip pencil in the shade suntan Uh, 
Okay, and now for the lipstick. And there we go so that is my sort of pillow talk inspired looks on a budget makeup look i'm just going to go away now and fix my hair put some earrings in and i'll be back to show you the final look okay and that's me all done so my earrings are from primark i'm even wearing primark perfume it is the scent santal dreams which is absolutely stunning and yeah, that is me done. That is my looks on a budget pillow talk inspired look. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see more of these looks on a budget style videos while I'm here at the caravan, then please do let me know. I have some very <laughs> good ideas for that um i have an attached to known palette dupe here that i think would be really fun an anastasia beverly hills dupe and yeah i've got some amazing affordable drugstore beauty products here that definitely give looks energy so thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate you do leave me a comment or any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see from me i'm always up for ideas because my inspiration is definitely going to run out soon <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching love you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>